Chances are, if you spent any time using social media earlier this year, you would have come across this picture. Tamam Azam's artwork went viral online and was picked up by news outlets too. But the Syrian artist's work isn't quite what it seems. So this is not really Klimt's painting actually painted on the building, is it? It's, it's, a, it's a trick. Can you tell me uh, yeah. what the trick is? It's totally done by Photoshop. And uh, actually, I, I, I want to make it uh, as real as I can because I hope it was there and how people can fight uh, like with love against war. Tamam lives in Dubai these days, but Syria is always on his mind and in his art. What happening there make me like uh, feeling sad all the time. Uh, make me uh, want to express more and more and more. So he's been pilfering from the canon of Western art and digitally superimposing it over photos of the devastation caused by Syria's war. The effects can be playful, angry and sad all at the same time. One of the interesting things about Tamam is that this new, very direct digital work is actually a bit of a departure for him as an artist. Previously, he was doing much more abstract paintings. But the loss of his painter's studio and the recent horrors of Syria inspired him to change tack. This free-roaming cut-and-paste technique certainly fits with our boundaryless internet age. In one series, he borrows from the Disney movie Up to imagine a bomb-damaged apartment block floating through time and space. So uh, we can talk about the memories which lost here in this building, the stories which like uh, totally destroyed uh, people and their lives. Where is it now? Tamam has gone back to painting now, but this digital work is on display in London until January 30th. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.